Alright, hello all you people out there, this is Michael of Two and a Half Studios, and welcome back to another one of these Game Maker Data Structures videos. So, firstly, sorry for taking so long to make this one. Real life happened, and um, considering that these videos take considerably more effort to make, since I actually have to do things like script what I'm going to be talking about, or else they come out really badly. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, so, maps. These aren't the conventional maps that most people would probably think of first off. Things like a road atlas or the overworld map in Super Mario Bros. But in this sense, map is being more used in the sense of uh, mapping one value onto another. So here on screen, you see I have uh, a bunch of things. And there are keys and there are values. And the values are mapped onto the keys. And apparently, I'm, in a, I'm thinking of food today, apparently, because that's what all of these are. If you want to count Skittles food, but whatever. Anyway. I think the best way to describe these things would actually be comparing them to arrays. So in arrays, you have one variable with a bunch of indexes, indices, uh, actually, is what plural form of index is called. So you could say array of 0 equals something, array of 1 equals something else, array of 2 equals a third thing, and so on. Well, what if instead of numbers in that array, you wanted to use words or anything? You could put anything into a map uh, the same way that you could put any real number, well, any integer number, into an array, you could put any value at all into a map. Any key, rather, and you could store a value, whatever you want that to be, associated with the key. Now, each key has to be unique, uh, as in, I can't really put another, a second first. Uh, actually, I'm going to hit a, I'm going to add, I'm going to say first, and I'm going to say, uh, first, we're going to say taco. That doesn't work. Uh, because there is already a value of first in this map, and it's it's occupied. Uh, you could change the value if you wanted to. You could see I get the pop-up. It's going to ask me uh, three for change. I'm going to say first, and let's make that tacos. And first is now associated with tacos, or rather tacos is also whatever. So you can have more than one value in a map, but you can't have more than one key. Now, before I actually write any code, or at least show you any code, because I have it all written, uh, that I want to do. Uh, I'm going to say remove, and you can indeed remove things. So if I were to say 5, uh, we get rid of the number 5 in there. And if I were to say, uh, let's see, let's do change, uh, we can say I already did that, or it will change first back to uh, what was first before. Can't remember. We're going to be calling that cream cheese because why not? And of course, you can add a value. So we're going to be saying a uh, Fifth and no. Oh wait, I don't know what I did, uh, what I typed exactly, but apparently I have associated the word fifth with the key fifth, uh, because that makes sense. Anyway, the concept is pretty simple. Now for the code. So all the code happens to be in this lovely uh, map object, and in the create event for this object. Uh, we're going to be saying DS map create for map naturally, and then we're going to be adding a couple of values, uh, a couple of key value pairs. So we're going to be saying first, uh, second, third, fourth, and the number five. You can make this the number five if you want to. Uh, Game Maker couldn't care less; uh, it'll still run. But the code that I've written actually uh, it works better if these are all strings. So I'm just going to have that a string. I don't think it's that big a deal anyway. So as you might see at the bottom, there's a, a key and the value. And banana is the value versus the key. I think I talked about that already. Uh, when you hit Enter, I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger. But when you hit Enter, there's a couple more functions here. Add, we've already, already seen that. Delete, it's fairly simple. Uh, you take the ID and the key that you want to delete. Replace is also pretty simple. Uh, you have the ID, the key that you want to replace, and the new value that you want to replace it with. Additionally, you have find value, which is arguably the most important function in the set of functions for uh, game makers' map structures, because this allows you to grab the, uh, the values from the map of keys uh, for later use. And in this case, I'm checking to see if uh, there is anything there at all. And if there isn't a value that you add, it will return actually the number zero. And I'm just making that strings to keep everything in strings and make this program work a little bit better. 
Uh, lastly, in the draw event, there's a little bit of extra code. Uh, find value once again is being used to show the, uh, the given value on the screen. And in this case, it's taking a variable name, but you could say, uh, you, could, you could pass out an actual key if you wanted to. Hopefully, fairly obviously. Now, these last two functions here, uh, there's actually four, but I'm only using two here. Find first. Now, when I hit F5, the order that these are shown up on the screen, uh, you may have noticed, is not the same as the order that I added them in. And let's see. I hope I didn't just screw up my recording because I uh, moved the little Bandicam banner thing over to my other monitor. But when I'm adding them, I'm adding the first, second, third, fourth, and five. But here, they're showing up third, five, second, first, and fourth. And that is because what GameMaker does when it, uh, how it handles things actually in maps and other programming languages that use them too, but here we're talking about GameMaker. Is it does what's called hashing them, and what that means is it'll take the value of, say, second, and it has some algorithm to turn this into a unique uh, integer value, and that will be used to store the uh, the key in, actually, an array. I, I do believe GameMaker does use arrays at its uh, lower level hidden implementation, and the magic of that is that instead of having to, say, go through all of the keys in the array and search for them the way you would have to do it with a list if you wanted to find a value, if you wanted to find a string or something like that. Uh, it can go there in exactly one mathematical computation. And in smaller programs, it's not too big a deal because you have, if you have a list of five entries and you want to uh, loop through that to find a value, computers these days are so fast that you probably won't even notice it doing any uh, computations. But if you have, say, 600 or probably even more than that, like six, I don't know, million entries, I don't know, maybe you're doing code for a server somewhere or something. Um, that's going to take a long time to search linearly. And you could do th fancy things like binary search, but even then in really big structures that'll take a long time to do. And GameMaker's uh, hash map implementation will make sure that you will always find your value if it's in the array in exactly one computation. I really talked about hash, stru hash structures for a long time, didn't I? Anyway, over here, find next will simply find the next value in the array after, uh, in the map rather, after the specified uh, key. And in this case, that will be uh, whichever the previous one is, so it'll print them out in order. You could also, if you didn't want to go uh, first to last, you could also say uh, DS map. You could say find last and or find previous, and that will go through uh, the map in reverse order. But I'm not doing that, it's really just a preference. Actually, just because why not, let's do that. And uh, once this game compiles and runs, you will notice that this is in the reverse order that it was the first time I ran this. All right, so I don't really need to save that now. Dog is barking outside. Now, the last thing is that there are a couple other functions that I haven't shown yet that you can find in the manual. Uh, obviously, you have exists, if it exists, uh, clear, copy, empty, size, read, and write, and destroy, which are pretty much uh, common to all of the data structures in GameMaker. In addition, uh, you also have secure save and secure load, and this will let you go and directly write a map structure to a, a file of some sort, so you don't have to, say, write it to a string and then write it to a file. So I believe that's a little bit faster in the amount of time that it takes GameMaker. Uh, but I think it's also a bit more uh, reliable than the old uh, read and write was. Uh, now let's see. Down here, GameMaker can work with a side scripting language called JSON. Now I don't know all that much about JSON, uh, although I will probably do my homework on it and make some at least one video on it later on how it works with Studio. But there are a couple of functions for GameMaker's maps writing and reading and interacting directly with it. And if you can hear a dog barking outside, I am sorry. There is apparently, I don't know, a squirrel uh, walking down the driveway or something. You know how dogs are. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, Game Maker's maps. Fun fact for those of you who might care, these are my actual favorite data, data structures out of all of these. And yes, I am that much of a nerd that I have a favorite data structure. Uh, 
something about constant time access makes me uh, uh, rather happy. But other than that, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. I will put this project file up, in, up available for download in the video description so you can mess around with it and perhaps alter the code and learn a little bit more about how maps work and stuff. But as I was saying, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, watch more stuff I've uploaded, and I will see you later.